Hey guys, it's Kat here from Fix It Physio and I'm super excited to introduce you to one of our rock star physios, James. <laughs> Say hi, James. Hey guys, how are we? <laughs> James is um, one of our physios and we, we love him here at Fix It. But the other awesome skill that James has is that he's um, a triathlon himself, but he also does some triathlon coaching. So I've been able to grab him out of the clinic and James is going to give us his top three secrets for strength work that he gives his um, runners um, that he's coaching. This is quite a beginner to immediate level, would you yep. say? Yep, yep, just uh, general exercises that I think are good for all your running sort of athletes out there. Fantastic, so James, let's hop into it. What have all you got for us? Okay, first one that I generally think is quite important is just some general calf strength. So even just simple, simple calf raises are generally where I would start. So you can start just up against a wall or even up something where you can hold on to. So what I would probably do, if, if you like, you can spin that around, okay? So I would even start up against the wall with my hands. Just Let me just spin up. that. And it's not spinning. That's all right. That's Go okay. for it, James. All right. So I would start with some, if you can, start with some single legs. If you're not quite up to single legs, then just doing some double leg calf raises is a great way that you can get some strength in through there. Okay. So single leg, obviously, one foot off and you're just coming up and down. And you want to make sure you keep that knee straight so you're not getting any sort of knee bend so you're making sure you're really working that calf okay the other thing is coming up and down nice and slow and controlled you're not sort of seeing this up and then a sloppy down okay so you make sure you can control in both the up and the down so could you be counting on that one james so maybe count of one up one down with that yep. work or more like two up two down uh, yeah i would sort of work with that sort of one to two up and one to two down Yep. Okay, you just don't want to lose that control. Yeah, I completely agree. Down. You just don't want to flop at the end, Correct. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. And with this one, so basically you're trying, you're doing it on a flat surface to start with? Yeah, yeah, yep. I think a flat surface. And then once you get stronger, obviously you can build up your repetition. So someone might start with sort of three lots of six, build that up to sort of three lots of 12. And then your next progression is probably over a step where you're getting that heel drop a little bit lower. Fantastic. And one of the things I, I, I know that we both always say is don't go from a six to a 12 one hit oh yes yeah. obviously um, slowly <laughs> slowly build that up from six to twelve not in one go so you might go from sixes to sevens to three lots of eight so forth until you get to three lots perfect of 12. awesome so what's the next one to, what to exercise um, the next on one the that cards. we're going to talk about is just some glute stability so great yep. easy exercise that i think is good for just every everyday sort of runners is yep. a clam exercise all right so, so show us that one James. so we're going to do it with the therapy end. so what you do if you've got a therapy end, obviously if you don't you can always go without but I generally like to use a theremin, so you're going to pop this around your knees. Okay. The red looks good on you, James. Yes, the red does look good. <laughs> so, what you guys are going to do, you're going to roll onto your side, and you're going to have your ankle, your hip, and your shoulder all in one straight line. The other thing is, you don't want to be rolled over, so you're making sure that everything is aligned. Okay. What's going to happen is, you're going to keep the feet together, and you're going to lift the knee up, and then slowly come down. And sort of like with the calf raises, you want to make sure it's nice and slow and controlled, not sort of up, up controlled, but then losing the down. Okay? And whereabouts are you feeling that, James? So right now, I can feel that right in my glute muscles. Okay, so you don't really want to be feeling that along the front of the thigh. If you're doing that, you're doing the exercise wrong, and it might just mean you're a little bit more quad dominant, and that's where you might actually you know, go in and see a physio and actually try and work out what sort of movement patterns you, you're utilising. And James is doing that beautifully. You can see how everything else is still, and all he's doing is rotating that top yeah. knee. And even now, I can start to feel those start to work. So you really don't need to do that many before you can feel the muscles start to activate and they start working. Fantastic. And again, how many would we be looking at with that? Yeah, I think, look, for those ones, you can probably do a little bit more. I think maybe start with three lots of 10, if you can manage that, obviously both sides, and then you might want to build that up to maybe three lots of uh, sort of 20, maybe even up to 30 if you're getting strong enough. Gosh, you're going well to get that, hey? Yeah, you are yeah. doing quite well. I would just start with three lots of 10. All right, so James, we had a third um, yep. strength exercise, and what's this one? So the next one we're gonna do, guys, is a lunge. So we're gonna stand back up, okay? And what you're gonna do, you're gonna start in your split stance position. So obviously this is just mimicking that running technique, okay? So the heel comes up at the back, and you're gonna make sure you're coming down to around that knee to touch the ground and then you're going to come back up. You want to keep it controlled, so you want to make sure you don't lose trunk control and obviously you don't want to make sure your balance is sort of going side to side, okay? So this is Sorry, just I'm a really... Sorry, I'm chopping your head off, James. That's okay. <laughs> 
So this is a really good one that you can sort of do utilize to mimic that sort of running technique. Would you mind just doing that front on as well, just yes. so we can see where your knee placement is? Maybe so, just go back a tiny bit more if you so can. The other thing is obviously knee control. You don't want to see the knee, the knee sort of going in or out when you're doing the lunge. You want to see it keeping in that nice straight line. Okay. It's a beautiful lunge, James. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and last little progression you can do from that. Okay, yep. so that was more of a, just a straight up and down lunge. You yep. actually go to like a walking lunge. Okay, okay, so show us that one. So what we might do, I might stand back a little bit. Okay, let's you just... You might find a little sort of... How's this? couple of metres sort of the um, section. Okay, so lunging down and then come through, step up, coming through, other side, stepping up, coming through, and then stepping up. Great. Okay. So that's just a really good sort of progression um, that you can do with that. Okay. okay, so, sorry guys. All right, so as you can see, you know, they're not hard to do, are they, James? No, they're not hard and they don't take too long at all. All right, so guys, jump in. Um, let us know if there's anything else that we can add on to those. We will be doing a more progressive um, set of exercises in about a month or so. Yep. So if you're starting, if you've got to be part of the Aquathon in 2019, can you believe yeah, that? Yeah, <laughs> These are great ones to start now, or even if you're just a general runner, or if you have any runs you want to do, or even just a park runner, you know, give them a go. It'll definitely strengthen up this running. Yep, definitely. And um, we'll catch you. We're going to um, also do a stretching feed, aren't we? Yes, yeah. All right. Looking forward to that. Okay, see you soon. All Thanks, right, see you guys. Bye.